Hi, I'm Kauka Bhavit and welcome to the fourth lesson in our keyword research module. Today, I'm going to show you how to determine ranking difficulty for a keyword. And this will help you understand how hard it will be to rank high in Google for your target keywords. Let's get started. So when it comes to ranking in Google, you need to understand who you will be up against before you target a keyword. Otherwise, you could be entering a battle you won't be able to win. From an SEO pr perspective, competitors are pages and websites that rank at the top of Google for your target keywords. So that means your competitors can be different for every single keyword you target. So there are three main things you will want to consider before you decide to pick a fight. And those are search intent, metrics of the top ranking pages and websites, and topical authority of the top ranking websites. Now, as we go through these points, we're going to create a list of self check questions, which should help you make informed decisions in your keyboard keyword targeting. So for this lesson, we are going to use this search checker, which is a free SEO tool. We also touched upon this in the last lesson. And this is a tool that uh, you can also use without any sign up. And uh, this will show you only the top three pages and the related matrices. But there are other paid tools that give you a much more detailed analysis. All right, let's start with search intent. The first thing you need to do is look at the serve and ask yourself, do some of the top ranking pages fail to closely match search intent? To find this out, you can go through the three C's of search intent which we had already discussed in lesson two of this module. So if we are, we are searching for top credit card, by the looks of it, they're all listicle blog posts using the freshness angle. So they do match the search intent and also play, pay close attention to the titles and URLs of the ranking pages because that gives you an indication. In general, if the top pages include the primary keyword or a variation of it in the title, they're likely targeting the keyword. For example, all of the top ranking pages for the query, how to save money are exactly about that. Whereas a query like best convertible car seat for small cars, uh, it's a bit of mixed uh, response uh, from search engine. As you can see, some pages have gone specifically with the angle of small cars. And as a result, it's probably matching searcher intent better than more the broad posts about the best convertible car seats for any car. This is a sign of weakness in the serve because it means there's probability that a lack of rank worthy content may be out there. I don't want you to take this advice that you must include the exact keyword phrase in your titles. Uh, but with this example, finding convertible car seats for small cars is actually a very specific need for a specific person. All right, let's talk about the second main thing to consider, which is the metrics of the top ranking pages and websites. The first matrix of, to look at is the number of websites that are linking to the page, which we call referring domains. As I mentioned in module one, backlinks are one of Google's most prominent ranking signals. So if a page has a lot of quality links pointing at it, then it will be more competitive to rank. So before choosing a keyword, you need to ask yourself, can I get more quality backlinks than the top ranking pages? The second matrix is website authority. We call this domain rating. And it represents the overall strength of a website's backlinking profile. Very generally speaking, you should be going after keywords where your website's domain ranking is domain rating is in a similar ballpark range as the top rank ranking pages, or at the very least, one of the top ranking pages should be in the same range as your website. For example, if all the websites that ranking rank in the top 10 have high DRs, 
DRs are domain rating. Uh, so, and you have a D domain rating of let's say 10, then you want to consider competing when you, you are at a similar level. So let's add that question to our checklist. Is my website in a similar domain rating range or higher than the top ranking websites? Again, this is a very general recommendation, but still a decent one to follow if you are a beginner to SEO. To see the domain rating of your own for free, there's a website that you can use, which is the Website Authority Checker. For instance, I'm assessing the website authority of a new university in Pakistan. The score is 33. I can compare the score with established universities and see how well is the website doing. So the top two business, business universities have a domain rating of 69 and 61 as compared to the 33 of the new university. All right, let's move on to the third part, which is topical authority of the top ranking websites. Google wants to rank pages from authoritative sources, and this goes beyond backlinks. For example, if you look at the SERP for how to unclog a toilet, you'll see that this plumbing grouping site is outranking much more powerful websites with significantly more referring domains. Well, this page comes from a website that's, that's just about plumbing. So it's slightly more authoritative on that particular topic. So the question you need to ask yourself is that, is my website equally or more topically authoritative than the top ranking websites? If the answer is yes, then that's a positive thing for you. The easiest and quickest way to find out is to just look at the domain names and use some common sense. For example, looking at the SERP for best convertible car seat for small cars. You'll see this, these sites like Experience Mommy, Baby Center, Parenting, Scary Mommy, and other relevant sites that talk about products for children. And for domains that aren't easy, easily distinguishable, you can just visit those websites and hit the About page and get a general idea of what that site is about. All right, let's look at our full list of yes or no questions. As a very general rule of thumb, the more yeses you can, you can check off, the better your chances of ranking. Again, very general because SEO is quite nuanced. With that said, let's go through one hypothetical example for our golf website to set the scene. And let's say we have a website uh, that's about golf instructions. And you also review golf equipment and your uh website rating is low at around 0.4 all right so the first example is a query best golf grips and let's start with the first question do some of the top ranking pages fail to closely match search intent now from the looks of it they all look quite decent step-by-step -step guide, the best golf frame. So they are matching the search intent. So I'll check the no box. Next up, can I get more quality backlinks than the top ranking pages? Again, we haven't covered anything about quality backlinks yet so far. So, so now uh, we, we'll just look at the quantity. And as you can see from it, most of the sites have very few referring domains. So I'd say this is a yes. Next question, is my website in a similar DR range or higher than the top ranking websites? Based on the serve, there are no sites with similar website authority. So let's give this a no. And finally, is my website equally or more topically authoritative than the top ranking websites? Well, if you see this, uh, all of the top pages are from golf sites, and so is mine. So let's give this a yes. So based on our analysis, now it looks like we are at a tie between yeses and noes. And this is exactly why I said, as a general rule of thumb, that the more yeses you can check off, the better your chances of ranking. Plus, you also need to uh, base some of the other four principles that we discussed. 
like profit potential and business value. And the best way to make sound judgment calls is through experience. So it will take time to hone your skills and gain a better grasp of uh, keyword analysis. So as you can see, it is hard to rank in Google and understanding SEO will be a key skill to your success. It's the first step to getting predictable results. After all, if you know what it will take to rank ahead of your competition, then it all comes down to execution. And that's what the next two modules are all about.